Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1350. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1350 finished file or the start file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Wow, we have a great video here. We got to see how to create formulas and pivot tables. And in our case, we're going to calculate gross profit and percentage of gross profit formulas in our pivot table. Now, here's our data set, and we need to create a pivot table and then use the standard features to drag years, product, region to the row, and then the standard features for total cost of goods sold and total revenue. But then we need to calculate a formula for gross profit and gross profit percentage. Now, we're not going to use the data model or DAX formulas. This is just a regular pivot table, and we've had these features for years. And our ultimate goal is to be able to slice it. So I go down to 2008 and Aspen, and instantly there is my report. Now let's go over to the start file. All right, so here's our start file. If we want to create a pivot table, we go up to Insert and click on the Pivot Table button, or we can use the keyboard Alt-N-V. Now it got it right meaning the data set, because it's a proper data set with empty cells all the way around. I want to put it on this sheet, so existing location. I'm going to click in the location text box and try H6. Click OK. Right. Now notice the date. And I want you to look over here. These are individual days in our transactional data set. And I'm using Excel 2016, so when I drag this down to rows, watch what happens. Instantly, it gives me years, quarters, and date. It is automatically grouped. Now, in earlier versions, you would have to right click and then point to group and group by years. We don't want months, so I'm going to uncheck months and quarters. By the way, this is how we can ungroup. And now, when I click OK, it only shows me year. Now, I'm going to drag product down to rows. And instantly, anytime you drag a field down to rows and drop it, it gives us a unique list of items. Because we have date, or in our case, year above, it repeats the sorted unique list for every year. Now I'm going to do the same thing to region. Click and drag down below product. And instantly now, we have the year product, and then a sorted unique list for each one of our regions. Now I'm immediately going to change the format. I do not want row labels. I actually want to show each one of these three fields in separate columns and have the field name appear. So I go up to Design, over to Layout, Report Layout, and I'm going to use Show in Tabular. Outline or Tabular will actually repeat the field names. Now let's come over to our pivot table field list. And now we drag cost of goods sold down to values. And because it's a number, it instantly defaults to sum. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to click where it says sum of cost of goods sold. And I'm going to type a new name, total cost of goods sold, and Enter. Now I need to add number formatting to this entire column. So I pick one cell and point to right click. Number formatting. Don't point to format cells. That format cells outside of the pivot table. We actually want to add number formatting to the field, in our case, cost of goods sold. So I click Number Formatting. Now I'm going to go to Number, say Use a Separator, and No Decimal Places. Click OK. Now I'm actually going to come up here and edit this, hit the F2 key, Space, and in parentheses, I'm going to indicate the unit and Enter. I can increase the column width. Now we're going to do the same thing for revenue. Drag it down to values. It defaults to sum. I come up here, and I'm going to type total revenue. And in parentheses, I'm going to indicate the unit. Right click, number formatting, number. Use a decimal, zero decimal places, OK. All right, now comes the exciting part. We're going to get to add two extra columns with formulas. With a cell selected somewhere in our pivot table, we can go up to Analyze. And over here, Calculations. Field Items and Sets, we want to click the drop down and point to Calculated Field. Our name, I'm going to call this, I'm calling it Gross Profit without a space. Get rid of that zero. And look at that, there are our fields. For Gross Profit, I'm going to say double click the revenue. 
That's the field revenue minus double click cost of goods sold. And there we go. Click Add. Click OK. Now notice gross profit. That actually is the name of a calculated field over here. If I were to hit F2 and try to name this the same thing as the field and hit Enter, it doesn't let me do that. No problem. I'm simply going to put a space. Right, that'll be the label at the top of our gross profit column. Right click, number formatting, number, no decimal places, click OK. Actually, I'm going to come up here, F2, and indicate the unit, Enter. Now with the cell in our pivot table, analyze, over to calculations, field items and set. Calculated field. This will be called GP percentage. Get rid of that zero. Gross profit, double click, divided by total revenue, double click. Click Add, click OK. Right click, number formatting, down to percentage. And I think I'm going to show one decimal. Click OK. That is pretty amazing. There are our calculated columns. We can see them over here. Now I'm going to add a style to this, Design, Pivot Table Styles, and the More button. I'm going to select this light blue Pivot Style Medium 6. Now I'm going to add a slicer with some cell in the Pivot Table. Analyze, Insert Slicer, Product, and Date. Click OK. Now we can format this a bit. Slicer tool options, columns, one, two, three, perhaps. Click on the slicer and drag. Click on this second slicer, slicer tools options, one, two, three, four. Point down below, and I'm going to click and drag to resize this. Right click the slicer, and down at the bottom, I want to point to slicer settings. And I definitely want to say hide items with no data, click OK. Maybe I want one more here, Slicer Tool Options 5. Move these around. I'm going to point to row 6, drag down to row 7, right click Insert to insert some rows, a little bit more room at the top. And we could size these to make this perfect. I'm going to hold Control, click on the second slicer, go up to Options. Slicer Styles, the More button, and maybe Light Blue Slicer Style, Dark 5. And now I have my report. I can slice it for the year 2008 and the product Aspen. If I want to see Quad in the year 2016, boom, there it is. All right, that's a little fun with a standard pivot table and adding formulas called calculated columns in our pivot table, adding a slicer and doing a little analysis. All right, we'll see you next video.